Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. In today's session, we will be looking at how can you use your Microsoft Whiteboard as a document camera. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So in order for you to use your Microsoft Whiteboard as a document camera, you have to have the app downloaded on your desktop and open the app prior to your meeting. So here I have my Whiteboard opened up and i have a meeting initiated here is my meeting so i have a couple of students with me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to split my screens in order to do that i simply press and hold my windows left arrow click on my whiteboard press and hold right arrow and as you can see i have two screens on my one window by doing so i can not only monitor my students chat let me go ahead and type something here I can not only monitor my students chat, but I can also have control of my participants and I can change my participants focus. That is, I can spotlight my students if I have to. Or I can spotlight myself if I have to. And I can also keep in track of which student is raising a hand. Let's say I have a student raise the hand then I can see that that student is raising the hand. I can go ahead and answer the question. And once all that's done, I can go ahead and use my whiteboard as my document camera. I can write whatever I have to. So let me go ahead and pick that. 2x plus 5 is equal to 4. y is equal to mx plus b. I'm randomly writing things down. m is the slope. You can do multiple things. If you have to go ahead and upload your PDF file, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to upload your PowerPoint into your Microsoft Whiteboard, you can go ahead and do that. I will go ahead and paste the link in the description box so you can see how many ways you can use your Microsoft Whiteboard. But this is a cool way by splitting your screen, having your Microsoft Whiteboard app opened up. You can actually use this as your document camera. But please keep in mind, in order to do that, you will have to share your entire desktop. You are not sharing your window. You are not sharing your Chrome browser. You are not sharing anything. You have to share the entire desktop in order for students to see exactly what you are seeing. I hope this video helps. If it does, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an instructor who might really need this Microsoft whiteboard slash document camera, and it's really struggling, especially during these times. And always remember, happy teaching.